We've just seen it with Rodri, yeah. haven't we? Even with Odegaard. Mm, so yeah, yeah. it's going to play a huge part. We'll, we'll stick with Arsenal because it was a good night for your teenagers <laughs> last night. I have to say, the few goals I did see, I'm not saying it to be saucy, but Bolton were terrible. They really were. 5-1. Mm. Um, good but, night. But, but you know what? Actually, Bolton weren't terrible. I mean, the three, of, three of the goals the, I saw came from them making really yeah, stupid mistakes. Uh, yeah, not, not in, terms, in terms of having a go. I mean, I actually think on the night they could have had to. Two goals, maybe even a third. There were some moments. You expect that from a heavily rotated side, I suppose, with Arsenal. Uh, the teenagers did their thing. Um, I mean, I, I sort of, I, I kept saying this on Forever Arsenal on AFTV, whatever. We take a step back, like a 16-year-old playing at the Emirates Stadium in goal for his Huge. debut. You know, people forget, that was Waneri's first start for the first team in a competitive game. Lewis Skelly too. Of course, Kabia came on. Kakuri came on. I'm, I'm sure I've missed someone. I'm going to feel bad for it. Oh, Josh Nichols at right back. Like that's to, it's a really kind of big moment for them. So well done to them because they're living their, their dreams, our dreams, right? I'd love to be on that pitch and fair play to them. It was just what Arsenal needed, a very no drama statement, not statement win, in terms of you score five. It job always done. looks good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, job mm-hmm. done. Um, Saka got an hour of football, maybe a bit more than he got rotated off. Rice got some minutes in the legs that he missed out because of the derby. He came, he, he came off after that. And just the general management of the players and the squad and... Scoring five goals it was great. It was just what you want an early Carabao Cup. Mm. Yeah, I, I absolutely concur. I mean, let's be honest. Let's start at the top. The draw was kind to us. Bolton at home. I mean, it's a League One side. They're not even in a good form. I think they're like 18th out of 24, something like that. We're at home. Opportunity to give some of the young guys a run out. And they took pretty much advantage of that. There's an opportunity for Sterling to come on. Mm. Um, to start, can. sorry. He scored, got an assist. So it's almost the perfect night. Trust. But more importantly, did you enjoy the style of football? I did enjoy the <laughs> style of football. Were you okay? Was, I have to say, I, 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 um, I started on your game and yeah. as soon as I saw the second the second yeah. one, I said, no, nah, I'm was going the possession? against Liverpool. Was it thrilling? Uh, really good. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah, you I'm didn't pretty, park the bus against Bolton. Pretty good football, I'm, I'm yeah. surprised. I'm shocked yeah. you didn't. We had lots of that shots. That shows growth. Yeah. That shows growth. It, that was the game that made me think, actually, now we're title winners because we had lots it of It should have been. That's the type of performance I want to see from my from an Arsenal team that are challenging. I'm glad we've played. No, 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 but you know what's yeah, ironic well about all this stuff? <laughs> so it's so ironic that Arsenal are being criticised now for playing a so-called certain style of football when previously, and I'm sure James will attest to this, that the common narrative or the common criticism was, oh, they're naive, they've only got one way of playing. Mm. You know, when it gets down and dirty, they don't know what to do, they spew it, they bottle it. Yeah. Now we're showing a different side to that. All of a sudden, we're... Um, it's no, one, no one's not right here, partner. Not, <laughs> not right here, partner. You know was, what I mean? Was just reading the stats. I miss, I miss the, the Shamak, the, you know, Nicholas Bentley. Socrates. This Socrates, is what I miss. That was Kishonis. prime Arsenal. Um, I miss Loved it. it. I miss it. You know, yeah. I miss it. was my favourite. Right, we we played such well, good football, when you got We did. People like um, <laughs> Bernardo Silva coming out and criticising our style of it. What does that tell you straight away? That they prefer to play teams that don't do that. Or does it tell you that they're extremely rattled? Because I've not heard him say Listen, that. Listen, the only people that are rattled are your family. It, true. it was true. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, I think, I think the amount, it's, the amount it's, of teams it's... that have gone to City and done that and worse, and I've never heard him complaining. But you're all of a sudden, I've made, Arsenal like do I said the other day on the call, maybe maybe I just hold you to a higher standard. I think after the game, both sets of fan base fan bases were, were rattled with each other. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, and I think we needed that because I want it to be a, a Spicy. rivalry. I want it to be, you know, I want you to hate each other. But that's not my problem from the week. Like, I don't know. Like the, the, mm. the, Harlan, the Harlan stuff with Arteta and Lewis Kelly, mm. cool. The the Arsenal, you know, fans feeling the way they feel, cool. The every Everything that kind of went on between the players, the interviews after, whatever, that's great. I love all that. Yeah, what we... actually got under my skin was the moving of the goalposts where suddenly... Drawing at the Etihad is suddenly seen as not very good. Like, mm. and and where there was so much, and there still is in content that's coming out today, where there where there is so much like dissecting of the way Arsenal played. Well, it was a five four. Could it have been a five three one? And could we have done? What about what City didn't do? Yeah, I've seen so little discussion. Fair play on this platform. Fair play on the big six as well. Like actually, but there's been so little actual discussion. Like, why did City find it so hard? And well, listen, mm. we don't have to go all the way back, but throughout the week. The conversation has been interesting, which is why I'm glad that yesterday's game against Bolton was so drama free. Can yeah. you imagine we go one nil down, and then the teenagers struggling, and then people are having to go at Arteta for playing the teenagers and throwing the couple. We just needed a drama free. I mean, the, Arteta got criticism for giving him an area debut two years ago, saying mm. it was all performative. Now, at 17 years old, mm. when Neri's looking like a guy who's going to have to play a part for us, he looked great yesterday. So, 
It was just drama free. Thank you. I, I saw in your video you said they're ready. What do you mean yes. by that? What are they ready for? <laughs> what do you mean by that? What, what? Watch the video. Where's my camera? How many, um, minutes, how many minutes can we, can we expect to see maybe for them this season? Let me, let, me, let me put it this way. I saw older, more experienced players who cost a lot more money playing in these kind of games for us last season and not look as good. Mm. Mm. So when I say ready, I mean, if we are in a situation, <laughs> the Etad the other day where we had all these players come off injured, not feigning injury, by the way, they were injured and they came off. Mm. Um, we brought on Lewis Kelly. That's so petty of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, we we brought on Lewis Kelly. Like Arteta was like, yeah, I have no problem. It's, bringing it's, it's you having on. those players there that have come through your academy, or yeah. you know, that, that are young players waiting for an opportunity, and when they're given it, being able to step Taking into the Taking it, showing yeah. something. Weniri showed something yesterday. Now, I'm, I actually quite like Fabio Vieira. People kind of mock me for it, but I didn't feel that we played in the right position, and that I could make him any excuses for him. But Weniri showed more in that, in terms of guile and wanting to get on the ball and make things happen than we'd really seen from Vieira in two years of football. So yeah. that's what I mean. There's something there with these players that you go, yeah, if push comes to shove, do I want them starting away at the Etihad? Mm. Mm. He, could st he could start this weekend. A lot of people are saying there's that. A, like there's a debate around that, and that mm. means you're, you're knocking on the door. Yeah. And that debate wasn't there for more senior players. 